over weather and traffic every 10 minutes on KBOI 2 News this morning. Still dreaming about yesterday's weather. Still yeah, feel the sun on my face. Uh, yeah, so these felt fluores good. fluorescent lights. <laughs> Not quite the but that trend does not continue today. No, not necessarily. I loved the sun yesterday. I wish the wind wasn't really in the picture, but oh gosh, we'll, we'll get there eventually, right? Unfortunately, the next seven days, we're kind of going to go on a roller coaster with our temperatures and uh, get some more unsettled weather back in here. So not necessarily uh, the week to uh, plan something wonderful outside, at least through the weekend. We'll see like decent days, but just those temperatures aren't going to be super wonderful. So look, weather headlines, a few showers possible for us today. I do think today is going to be predominantly dry. Uh, we will see just hit or miss showers, more rain on the way for us tomorrow and Saturday. Cooler temperatures also coming our way for the weekend, and that active pattern uh, will continue for us through early next week. Temperatures are surprisingly mild this morning. The clouds have kept us uh, comfortable. 55 in Mountain Home, really uh, mid 50s to low 60s across southwest Idaho with mid to upper 40s for most of our mountain locations. Stanley even waking up to close to 40 degrees. Winds are in that uh, 15 to 20 mile an hour range along most of the I-84 corridor. That is until you get down toward Twin Falls. Winds there about 30 miles an hour out of the southeast. Uh, that's going to be the focal point of the winds today, but do know it's going to be blustery out there, kind of similar to what we saw yesterday with the winds, anywhere from about 15 to 25 miles an hour in most spots. We're kind of sandwiched in between a couple of different uh, storm systems on the radar, just a light patch of uh, rain showers out there south and east of us toward Twin Falls and in Elmore County, and a few more patchy showers out there in southeast Oregon. So we're kind of sandwiched between the two. I do think some of the showers will just kind of come on and off throughout the day, mostly later this morning into the early afternoon, and they could sneak through our backyard. We may stay uh, totally dry, but there definitely is that chance of showers. Hard to pinpoint exactly where they're going to go. But we do know the bulk of this is still off the coastline and some out there in the Pacific. So uh, more wet weather coming our way. This is all going to track inland through the Pacific Northwest and into Southwest Idaho here over the next couple of days. So timing things out on the future cast that uh, we'll notice the uh, band of rain, I guess, pushing through most of this today and tomorrow uh, going to hang in the mountains up in the high country. That'll kind of be the target of all of this wet weather. We'll see light rainfall amounts, but could see a few showers uh, later this morning and into the middle of the afternoon. I still think we have that chance for showers continuing through southwest Idaho. Uh, again, primarily dry today, but we are going to see on and off again showers. Uh, in the mountains, again, most of this will be rain. Temperatures much too warm. Could see a little bit of snow at the highest peaks. It says we head toward the weekend, though. And the snow levels will start to drop. We'll see a little bit more of that purple color popping up on the radar and more widespread precipitation across the region by Friday and into Saturday. So just know uh, beyond today, things take a turn for the worse, and so do our temperatures. So we'll stick with the 60s for the next couple. But by Friday, we get a cold front moving in, and that's going to drop our temperatures all the way down into the low 50s just in time for the weekend. So timing, not the best. We're at 51 for the next couple of days, 56 as we head toward early next week. But notice normal is 60 degrees for this time of the year. So aside from the next couple of days, we stick below normal. 64 for our high today. Again, hit or miss showers, otherwise mostly cloudy and breezy. Not a terrible day, but as we head toward the extended forecast, we'll notice that things definitely uh, get a little more unsettled tomorrow and Saturday. I also don't want to rule out the chance of some stray thunderstorms tomorrow, especially, uh, but possibly today up in the high country too. Showers are likely again on Saturday, and then we'll dry out for Sunday. Still cool, though, and then temperatures start to rebound, but it's going to take a few days, and we'll also see intermittent showers Monday, Wednesday, possibly looking Thursday, too. Um, so very, very spring-like, 